So it's opening day for us. The first article has been published by Bloomberg, our official announcement of PLL. How are you guys feeling? Better than I did uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. prepared. Prepared. Mm -hmm. We've ran pretty much every scenario through our heads. We try to think we have. Being ultra aware of, of all the realms of possibilities that could take place doesn't mean when any of them do, especially the more difficult ones, make it easier. It's just what's our contingency plan, so we build them. And I like to do little interview prep leading in. That's why I'm like looking at our notes and regurgitating on a notepad. It's the best way to prepare. Just a uh, bunch of boys in a Brooklyn apartment getting ready for work. Great to have you on with us. Joining us today is Paul Rabel, founder, and Mike Rabel, CEO of the newly launched Premier Lacrosse League. Well, Paul Rabel, I met him at Steph Curry's Players Tech Summit. He is creating his own professional lacrosse league. What's the first to start off by asking about this league? Mike, what's the evidence that this is a model that works? And so what we decided to do was create a model where we can bring the best players in the world in this exciting game to different markets to give them those access points, those live games. Fans are gonna get more access than they ever have in any team sport where they can watch their favorite players over the course of the weekend and in some cases they'll be able to interact. Well, what's interesting is there's a very much player first approach. I was interested yeah. in the fact that you've got full-time employees, healthcare, equity and league. Why, why have you gone down that route? A couple of things that we needed to get right for this league to take a next step in the mainstream uh, awareness. And the first is take care of the players. Uh, so providing them full-time wages allows them to focus solely on their skill development as well as the engagement on social and digital platforms that you had mentioned. In terms of getting these in front of the most eyeballs as possible, is that the goal? But when we look at a distribution that NBC has, especially the sports network, they're in 83 million homes. NBC, which we're going to have two games on, they're going to be showcase games, is in over 110 million homes. Was, was solidifying that network deal one of those moments where you were just like, this is, this is gonna be big? It was Target 2. Target 1 was the best players in the world, and we needed to know that there was something there. And that opportunity was a groundswell. So the um, announcements have gone really well, and better, actually better than our expectation. Just across, across the board, I think that you know, the overwhelming voice right now in the market is this, is a, this has been a successful launch so far, and that's just because of you guys. I mean, you guys have really dialed it up. You guys were working late last night. Just like the, the around the clock work effort to get this done, um, have, I had to take a step back and sort of breathe a little bit to see and sort of take it all in. And it was uh, everyone from the media team to the ops team to the legal team. To, uh, to, to Paul, to special operations. I mean, we have a lot of work to do still, but it's also important just to take a step and sort of realize what we've done and breathe in the accomplishments this far. Um, and uh, you know, to have a successful launch like this, to have the partners like we have at launch right now with our investors and, and NBC especially, I think it's, it's, it's because of you guys. And so um, we should feel really good about that. And so I'd say enjoy, enjoy a little bit tonight because uh, if you, if you don't enjoy it, you kind of get lost in the noise. We're here in Baltimore, Maryland, inside Lacrosse HQ. We're going to meet with Terry Foy and the team and talk about the build of the PLL. Let's go. <laughs> I'm really excited because, you know, you and I have gotten to know each other over the course of more than a decade, and uh, this is a podcast that has, you know, a really unique opportunity to delve into what I would argue is one of the biggest stories in the history of lacrosse, the formation of the Premier Lacrosse League. Is this a dream job? Is founding PLL the culmination or, or the next step in, the, in your development as a professional in such a way that you, know, you find a tremendous amount of redeeming emotion? Hmm. My goal was to never start a new professional lacrosse league. The goal was always to play at the highest level in college lacrosse. And I think that's the shared sentiment today. To be able to have a, an after college opportunity 
to play at a high level and to develop meaningful income and to be a professional athlete in our sport, uh, creating that opportunity is something that I would consider a dream. Uh, and, and that's really what, what we're doing. And, and we've taken meaningful steps overnight to build that now. And then as we continue to take strides in the future, uh, we think the opportunity will only grow and grow. But for this you know, 12 or 13 year old that's listening to this podcast now and wants to play hopefully at Johns Hopkins, uh, but you know, whichever, whichever college uni or, or university that they want to attend and play at a high level, uh, that they also want to graduate and be drafted into the PLL and know that they don't have to support a part-time low wage with another job. And, and that shift, I think, will happen now and hopefully will continue to grow. And, uh, and that's what we're solving for and that's what gives us the most energy. Needless to say, we had huge, huge uh, excitement in the building when we got a release. You know, it had been speculated, rumored. Fortunately for us, it was kept to a, a very small group until we, until we finally hit the, the send button yesterday. And I think getting everybody together early on yeah. was, was really important. Um, we have an unbelievably great schedule. Chris, thanks for leaning in and Chuck on, on really a quick turn on that and sure, with, yeah. with the PR, our PR agency, yeah. DKC. And so yeah. there was, a, a, I think, a lot of good plans in place. And literally when Chris and Chuck came in, it elevated that much further. Yeah. So it was great.